Today I wanted to talk about all the characters from Season 1 of The Chosen. I wanted to make a really quick guide to show you guys exactly who each of these characters are in order of appearance. So let's go through all the main characters this time. Here we go. Alright, first up we meet Lilith. Now this is a character who we know later to be Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene is an extremely important character in scripture itself. She's one of the earliest followers of Jesus and she was there when Jesus was resurrected. Actually the first to find out. And so she's an important character as we move forward. Some quick things we know about her is that she was possessed by seven demons and that Jesus took them out of her. Next up is Nicodemus. We meet Nicodemus and his wife Zahara traveling to Capernaum. Now Nicodemus shows up three times in the Bible twice meeting Jesus, and a third time at his burial. Nicodemus is a main character in season one and really, really important to the story. At that same time, we meet Quintus. Quintus is a Roman magistrate. Now, what does that mean? He's basically in charge of this area. Quintus is not a historical figure or someone from scripture, but someone that the chosen made and put in this position. There would have been a Roman magistrate for Capernaum, but we don't know who that was or what was going on there. So Quintus takes that spot. You can think of him as the Roman boss for this season. Then we meet Matthew, the tax collector. Now, if you're familiar with scripture at all, you know that this is one of the 12 disciples, actually the first one that we meet, which is super interesting. We see that Matthew is rich and that a lot of people dislike him because he's a tax collector. We'll get way more into this in season two and in the other parts of season one. Now in this rendition of Matthew, Dallas Jenkins has decided to portray him with some autistic aspects. He's on the spectrum in some way. This is because in the scriptures, Matthew is very detailed and there seems to be some tendencies there that Dallas related to. As we're meeting Matthew, we also meet his Roman guard, Gaius. We don't know much about Gaius and he's not a scriptural figure, but he is basically Matthew's bodyguard to keep him safe from all the Jews that dislike him. And their bond kind of forms over this season to the point where Gaius really doesn't want to see him leave with Jesus. Now, after Nicodemus does get settled in Capernaum, we do meet another Pharisee a very prominent figure in season one and into season two. His name is Shmuel. He's basically the main antagonist of this season. Now, while Nicodemus is busy trying to figure out what Jesus is doing, Shmuel and his other Pharisee friends have already disowned Jesus and see him as a heretic immediately. After that, we meet Simon Peter. And again, he's another one of the disciples. At the same time, we're meeting his brother, Andrew. Now, Simon Peter is a very prominent figure in the scriptures. We see him as one of the closest to Jesus basically throughout his ministry. He was there for a lot of the events that Jesus did. And so he's a very important character. What do we know about him? We know that he's brash, that he's harsh, and that he has some sort of a temper. So we'll keep a lookout for that. We also see Andrew, his brother, seeming to be a little bit more cunning, less brash, but at the same time, we see both of them are fishermen. And so that being the case, they're both a little bit rough around the edges. Now to go along with his family, Simon Peter is actually the only married disciple in The Chosen. And his wife's name is Eden. And she is an amazing character. She basically talks to Peter and, and calls him out when he needs it. But she also allows him to travel with Jesus when the time is right because she trusts that the Messiah is gonna take care of him. Really, really cool character. Although she doesn't appear to be in scripture either. And then finally, at the end of season one, we're introduced to the man, God himself, Jesus. Now, obviously, Jesus is going to be the most important character, the son of God, <laughs> throughout all of these episodes and all of these seasons. So moving on into season one, we meet James and John, two more of the disciples, also known as the Sons of Thunder. Now, these brothers, as we know from scripture, grew up in the same area as Simon, Peter, and Andrew. We don't see a ton about them in season one, but they are obviously prominent figures that will continue to grow within the group. Now, an interesting thing in The Chosen is that the character of James, Big James, has been played by three different actors. For various reasons, the first two actors had to go off on their own way and do different projects or deal with family business. But at the start of season two, we actually see the current James in place and doing an amazing job. And speaking of big James, next we meet little James. Now we don't see much of him at all in season one, uh, but we do hear a little bit more as it goes into season two. This is one of the disciples that we don't know very much about at all. Same thing with Thaddeus. We meet them right around the same time and they're introduced as disciples of Jesus. And so they kind of come in before The Chosen even starts, which is an interesting way to introduce them. Thaddeus and James kind of sit on the back burner for now. So we've met the majority of the characters so far, but there are a few more important characters that we haven't run into yet. The next would be Zebedee, the father of John and James. Zebedee becomes an important part because Simon Peter has an opportunity to turn him in to the Romans, but he ends up not doing that. We also don't know much about Zebedee from the scriptures at all. Then one of my favorite characters, John the Baptist. Now we see him in prison as Nicodemus is questioning him about how Mary got healed. And John kind of alludes towards Jesus and alludes towards the Messiah. 
but Nicodemus doesn't really fully understand quite yet. This scene in particular is not in scripture at all, but I thought it was a really cool way to incorporate John the Baptist into season one. Now in episode five, we get a small scene where we travel back in time to where Jesus was left at the temple by Mary and Joseph. We see the mother Mary for the first time as she's running frantically through the city looking for Jesus. And at a point she hears as Joseph calls her name and he has found Jesus at the temple and he kind of explains what's going on. But it's really cool to see the earthly father and mother of Jesus kind of coming together here and to see them portrayed. Now Joseph in The Chosen actually dies before the actual story begins. And so this flashback I think is one of the only times that we'll see him in the whole series. However, Mary the mother of Jesus has been traveling with him in season two. And so after episode five, we do see a little bit more of her later on. In that same episode, we're introduced to another disciple of Jesus and another follower, Thomas and Rhema. Now, right from the beginning, we see that there's some flirtatiousness between these two. There's something kind of going on there, at least from Thomas's side. And as we see the quintessential doubting Thomas, by the end of the episode, he is excited and ready to go follow Jesus and Rhema too. And last but not least in the main characters list, we meet the woman at the well, one of the amazing stories in the Bible. But we see this play out and the woman comes to life as she discovers who the Messiah is and runs to tell everybody else. So to cap things off, at the end of season one, we have eight disciples and two followers of Jesus. So who's your favorite character from season one? I love all of these characters and The Chosen has been doing an amazing job of bringing these stories to life. Even the characters they've added to the stories have been amazing. They don't feel fake or forced and the acting is impeccable. It's been amazing to see all of this come about. And so I can't wait to see all of the character developments gonna happen over the next many, many seasons. We do videos talking about The Chosen at least once a week. So if you check back here, I'm sure there's more videos to come. And if you'd like to check out some of our older ones, there are a bunch to check out. So please do that. Like and subscribe if you like this video and if you wanna see more. I hope this helped some of you. I know some of my friends were slightly confused on some of the characters. And so let me know if you have any more questions. I always try to answer any question that I can find in the comments. So thanks guys. We'll see you on the next one. And thanks for being part of our community. Peace.